Griffith University Inclusive Futures is a disability research alliance using a new inside-out approach where those with lived disability experiences frame the opportunities and research work to be undertaken. Where Griffith takes a whole of university approach to tackling and answering that opportunity and where the broader health, business, government and general communities actively assist in progressing need to idea to solution. The Inclusive Futures pitch is an opportunity for the world to experience firsthand and live the Inclusive Futures model of research and community and witness the magic that comes from true user-centric driven collaborative models of research and resolution. This event is about finding innovations that help people with disability to participate in sport and recreation of their choice in the way that they would like to participate. I'm looking for solutions that have empathy and dignity for the person with disability at the centre and solutions that are actually practical and will work to solve some of the problems that we've been trying to solve for decades and haven't solved yet. I have an intellectually disabled nephew who I focus a lot of my life around now in terms of what I want the world to look like for him as he grows up and this is a great opportunity for me to be a part of something that can actually make some real change. Coming in from a digital gaming space and the success we've had with regards to bringing people into our process, it's about how do we bring people to sport in the same fun collaborative way. We come from all different backgrounds, all different expertise, and we all have our ideas. But also, more importantly, we're listening to the people that the solutions will go towards. I'm all pretty passionate about the same goal and the same, I suppose we have the same vision, so that has really driven us to communicate and come up with what we think is a really great solution. It's been really a delight to see those people have a really strong voice in the co-creation rather than just being interviewed and then the team does something for them. We're producing new ways of thinking, different kinds of ways of understanding and hopefully also some new methodologies where we think about well, what is it that different kinds of abilities uh, can be supported to do? How do we understand the diverse nature of disability? And feed that into the way in which we come to understand the needs and how we need to change our ableist world and that's attitudes and also environments. So after this event, what will happen is that there will be mentors for each team to help the teams to develop their idea a little bit further. Then we'll have ways of connecting those teams with corporate companies and government idea further and many of those people will be in the audience today listening to the audience today listening to the pictures. From there we'll have um, different pathways, partnerships, grants, pilots and already one of the teams was off and running with that saying actually there's a grant coming that would fit right beautifully with this idea. So we, we already know with some confidence this is what happens when you have a government policy maker and an academic and an end user sort of with those with lived experience and private industry in the room, things happen. Research belongs to all of us. It's something that we all do collectively. We have the end user who knows what they want. We have our, our incredible Griffith researchers who know how to get it done. But now we really do have a community around us that wants it done, that's going to galvanise themselves around any idea that we have and is going to help us to move forward in ways that possibly were unimaginable before. There's no wrong answer. We can all come together to make a difference. The Inclusive Futures Challenge is to have everyone believe, audaciously imagine and know that they can make a difference to disability research. Big or small, one-off or ongoing, it doesn't matter. It all shifts the needle in the right direction. It all adds up to positive, incredible and sometimes even miraculous changes to the lives of 4.4 million Australians and 1 billion people worldwide living with a disability.